At the bedside, once again compare the medication label with the MAR. This is your third check. Tell the patient why she's getting the medication, what it does, and what its potential side effects are. Encourage her to ask questions. Caution her that the injection may cause a slight stinging or burning sensation. Select an appropriate site for the injection. The vastus lateralis and the deltoid muscle are possible sites for IM injection, but the ventrogluteal site is preferred. Examine the integrity and amount of the patient's muscle mass and palpate the muscle. Areas of tenderness or hardness are not suitable injection sites. If the patient receives frequent injections, rotate the site selection. Inspect the area for bruising, inflammation, and edema. If the skin is bruised or shows signs of infection, use a different site. Help the patient find a comfortable position that will accommodate the injection site you've chosen. Expose only that portion of the body. Apply clean gloves and use anatomical landmarks to find the site again. For a ventrogluteal injection, place the heel of your hand over the greater trochanter of the patient's hip with the wrist almost perpendicular to the femur. Point the thumb toward the patient's groin. Point the index finger to the anterior superior iliac spine and extend the middle finger back along the iliac crest toward the buttock. The index finger, the middle finger, and the iliac crest form a V-shaped triangle. The injection site is the center of the triangle. Once you have located the site, it may help to mark it with an unopened alcohol wipe. To clean the injection site, begin at the center and move outward at least 5 centimeters or 2 inches in a circular pattern. You might want to apply an anesthetic cream, such as EMLA, to the planned injection site about one hour before you administer the injection. Or, if you use a vapocoolant spray, such as ethyl chloride, spray it on the site just before giving the injection. Hold a gauze pad between the third and fourth fingers of your non-dominant hand and remove the needle cap or sheath by pulling it straight off. Hold the syringe with the thumb and forefinger of your dominant hand as if it were a dart. Remind your patient to try and relax. Place the ulnar side of your non-dominant hand just below the injection site and pull the patient's skin laterally about one to one and a half inches or two and a half to three and a half centimeters. Hold this position until you've inserted the needle. If the patient has little muscle mass, grasp the body of the muscle between your thumb and forefinger. With your dominant hand, quickly pierce the muscle at a 90-degree angle to the skin. Continuing to pull the skin taut with your non-dominant hand, stabilize the syringe by grasping the lower end of the barrel with the fingers of the non-dominant hand as they are resting on the patient. Attempt to aspirate by pulling back on the plunger with your dominant hand. If blood appears, you're not in the muscle. Remove and discard the needle and syringe and start over. If no blood appears, you're ready to proceed. Inject the medication slowly at a rate of one milliliter every 10 seconds. Wait 10 seconds and smoothly withdraw the needle. Engage the needle safety. Release the skin and place a gauze pad over the site. Apply gentle pressure, but don't massage the area. Apply a bandage to the puncture site if necessary.